Hi! In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use JFrag Artifactory as a Helm repository. To make the solution work, you'll need Helm, Minikube, or Kubernetes, Kubernetes CLI, and JFrag Artifactory Pro. You can install Helm from helm.sh or GitHub, or using Homebrew Cask. For this demo, we'll be using Minikube, which can be downloaded from GitHub. Make sure that you have all the required dependencies for Minikube, which are mentioned here. Let's start Minikube by running the Minikube start command. This can take some time if you're starting it for the first time. Great! Now we have Minikube running, and our Kubernetes CLI is configured to use Minikube. Now let's use the helm command to make sure helm is running and installed properly. Next, we'll use the helm init command to initialize Tiller, which is a server for helm. Let's take a look at the Minikube dashboard. And it's up and running. Now we can run JFrog Artifactory Pro as a Docker container and create a new repository in Artifactory, and use it as a helm repository to store Kubernetes charts. Let's run the Docker command to start JFrog Artifactory Pro as a Docker container. We'll point the browser to the Artifactory homepage. On its first launch, Artifactory will request a license key. If you don't have a license key, go to the JFrog website and start your free trial. Let's paste our license here. Now we'll create a remote repository and name it Helm Remote. Make sure we point it to a default Kubernetes Charts default repository and save it. Let's configure the Artifactory user plugin to make this a Helm repository. To get this plugin, go to JFrog Dev in GitHub. The Helm plugin is inside the Artifactory user plugins repository. We will need this plugin to support the Helm repository type in Artifactory. Here are the steps for configuring this plugin. Notice that the Yummy Beans dependency is required to make this plugin work. Since we're using a Docker container to start Artifactory, let's go into the container and configure the plugin. Place the plugin in the plugins directory in Artifactory and download the Groovy file of the plugin which we'll be using. Let's create a directory called lib and store the dependency there. And now let's change the permission on the file. We'll reload the plugin. The plugin is successfully loaded. We can exit the container and point Helm to Artifactory. We'll get the Artifactory URL from the UI. Now let's update the index. Using the helm install command, we'll install Jenkins from Artifactory. We can go to the UI and see the Jenkins archive being cached in Artifactory. Now let's open our Minikube dashboard. Here you can see Jenkins is up and running. Let's try to access the Jenkins UI using this port. And we're able to access Jenkins. This concludes our video on how we can use JFrog Artifactory as a Helm repository. Thank you for watching.